Hi guys, Luke Jones here for Darts Mad, and today I'm thrilled to be joined by PDC Tool Card holder and 2021 PDC World Championship participant Nick Kenny. Thanks for coming on, Nick. No problem, Luke. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me on. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start with saying a massive con- congratulations from me and everyone at Darts Mad for obviously qualifying for the World Championships. Um, have you, has this settled in yet? Oh, thanks, thanks for that. Um, it has a little bit, yeah, especially the draw yesterday. Um, seeing my name on the, the draw, and obviously on Sky Sports. Yeah. Sat there from nine o'clock waiting for it to come on. Um, <laughs> just eager, really, to know what they are playing now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with the draw as well. Um, but Monday was just so tense. Yeah. In the Rico and. I survived a few match starts, you know, I think it was three match starts overall. It should have been 3-0 down to Ted. Managed to beat him 6-3, but uh, it was such, so tense. It just seems to do it last minute all the time. Yeah, obviously you, your first year on tour, it's been a bit up and down. So going into the qualifiers, um, did you think he was playing well enough to go all the way? Yeah, I've been doing a, a lot of online practice, really. Um John O'Shea, the world master, and yeah. Sam Kanker, based in Wales as well. Yeah. Um, and I, so when I start playing well, I seem to seem to go on a little roll. And you know, what's I'm averaging over 90, 91, and, and consistently having you know five or six visits to the board, you know, I'm I'm, I'm quite hard to beat. Um, yeah. And, like I seem to sort of do it when it matters, and I beat myself up a little bit because when I played Michael Van Gerwen in Germany in the semi-finals, yeah. I tried to beat him, which I should have really been 4-0 up. He didn't really play his best, but I should have really won the match. I'd have been, I'd have been there already, so yeah. you know, I put a bit of extra pressure on myself, sort of thought, you know, you're good enough. No disrespect to any of the other players on, you know, in the qualifying, but, you know, I'm capable of beating them all. Yeah. Um, and to come through the field, I'm just so relieved, to be honest, and I can't wait now. But, um, yeah, form's sort of solid, really. It's, it's the online darts, and it's I've gone up a couple of levels. But if you know what I mean, I'm, I'm losing now because I'm playing better players. So you, yeah, yeah, you're always going to lose a game of darts. But my overall level has gone up. But obviously, I'm going to lose more because the standard is so high. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it has been a topsy turvy year, to be honest. And uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to the Ali Pali now. To be fair, to, to cap off a brilliant, well, a bad year, you know, for everyone. But yeah, you know. It's been an experienced year, and you just got to take everything as a positive, really, and I sort of do that. So, yeah, and your first game on Monday was against Steve Brown, and it, for ten legs, it was ten older older throw. Obviously, you survived the uh, the two or three match darts. Yeah. Um. After coming through that, your emotions must have been all over the place. Yeah. Well, he was he was solid on his throw, and I was solid yeah. on my throw, and I. I I know I had a chance to miss the ball for a one six four to break him and two darts double eight then for you know I was for a twelve, thirteen and fourteen uh, fourteen and fifteen data. And then he's um I've got back to five all and I just thought, you know, see what he can do, you know, see because it's all about you know, he's got three more darts than me then, haven't he? I've yeah. lost the ball. Um yeah. and he's left sixty, I've left sixty and he, he's missed two and I couldn't really believe it to be fair. And then I <laughs> thought just take take a chance. Put one right on the wire at tops and then moved across um, and just plonked it on top of that one and, and away I went, he, you know. And his previous games, I've missed several several yeah. darts to win against different players. So maybe, like I said, it's the bit of luck, really, that I've, I've sort of it's been coming. Yeah. And then, obviously, you play Ted Everts. You come through that one six three. You another solid performance, 92 average. And then... You come up against James Wilson in the last round. Uh, that went all the way as well. Um, you, I think you survived a match start there. What was what? What any with that winning double? Um, what was the overriding emotion? Was it what have I just done? Well, to be fair, I, I was four one down in the match, so I shouldn't have been four one down. Probably should have been four one up or at least three two up. So I, all I went for my mind then was just think about Q score when he was losing, but he was playing quite decent. Uh, just yeah. last minute man sort of thing. Things go for your head at stupid times. And yeah. just, well, what do you do? Just kept plodding, got myself back in it, got the four all, five four up with a nice one three five out. And then I couldn't hit a treble on, on his darts with the two legs. So then I just fought all eggs in one basket, get off on this last leg and see what you can do. Yeah. So I went off, I don't know if it was a straight turn or 96. And then 
I was on one four four after nine, and he was nowhere to be seen. He was he was still on you know three hundred odds, and I know he's left himself two five four. Yeah. I've only hit, I've only hit forty four. I thought oh, here we go. He's hit one eighty to leave seventy four, and I'm like, oh Nick, what do you do here? Yeah. So I plucked one above the treble twenty, and I thought no, don't take the risk. You know, sort of you know play it safe. 50 yeah. 50 you know try and put it in the treble 20 or missed it left tops all down to him then is he going to take it or yeah. not so i've got i've got three darts at tops if he misses other than possibly only having what two darts if i'd have gone over the top on double top so yeah he's gone out when well, i couldn't even look at this point there's, there's a camera <laughs> in, in our faces you know the darts tv yeah and thing, yeah and the dart show and i'm on the rail and i'm just gone like that and my heart is just going boom boom mm. boom boom i'm like jesus christ I'll have a look at it afterwards <laughs> And um, I've looked up, as he's hit the 20s. I didn't look at the 42, he, he did the 40. And I've looked up, he's at the 20, and he's gone over the top. And I'm like, oh, wow, now I'm now this is the moment. Like, you know, this is for, like, you know, Ali Pali, you know, you know everything you've tried for, everything you've yeah, yeah. The first one was bang on the wire. Second one, just a, sorry about that, just above. And then the last one hit the two darts and dropped in, and that was just the release. <laughs> I was so happy, and I think they captured all that on 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 the footage. So I'm looking forward to seeing that back. Yeah, I can't so wait I'm... to see that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there was no scream or anything. It was like a silent sort of, you know, one of them. But uh, it was still playing at, at about four boards down. Yeah, so I'd go in trouble if I'd give it a scream. Yeah, um, yeah. You mentioned the draw there. You know now you've got Dirk Telnick as first round. And then a possible meeting with Jermaine Watamina, second round. Are you setting any goals going into it, or are you just going to say, like, I've got you, just enjoy it? Um, um, although, you know, I will enjoy it, and I'll set myself to, I'll be, in my heart of hearts, I expect to win, because if I play my, if yeah. I play my best, I expect to win any game. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, not go- I'm not going in there to make the numbers up, so to speak. You know, I, I've played Dirk before, he's beaten me, but... You know, I'm I'm as good as, if not better than him, on my yeah, on my yeah. game, and that's what it is with everyone really who's going to be in this world championship. It's all about what they do. You know, everyone will prepare. You know, for it. If if they their best is they is good enough, it's good enough. If it's not, then yeah. you know, there's always going to be a loser. But you know, I'm going to enjoy it, but I will really expect to to win if I play my game, and and, and that's the same for Jermaine. And if you know, obviously, all routes are on this first game. You know, yeah. if, if I am fortunate to get through and I play my game, and I'll be expected to, to put in a good show and and, and beat Jermaine as well. You know, I'm, I'm not scared of any of them. So, and the standard being what it is right now, you you yeah, you're a good player. If you qualify for the worlds, you you can play darts. Yeah, well, I only missed out by one game. Think about it. If I only got the final of the the third day in yeah. Germany, I wouldn't have had to worry about the qualifying <laughs> for all that on Monday. But um, and as, as as it showed in that tournament, the, the run of players that I beat and the calibre that I beat, it shows yeah, I can't compete quality. with them all. Um, yeah. Especially, um, you know, Devin Peterson was on form, James Wade, Whitlock, um, Ross Smith's having a brilliant year, beat Lisa Ashton, yeah. losing to Van Gogh, I shouldn't have. But, you know, I'm capable of beating them players, so I've now proved to myself I can beat them and, and just hopefully, you know, I can turn up on the biggest days of them all and, and show everyone what I've got. But, um, Hopefully, you know, I'd like to be a, a bit more consistent in the long run. But, you know, if I can do it all at Ali Pali and show everyone, you know, by the May game, then that's, that's the place to do it, isn't it? That's what that's what you judge it yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and your journey in on uh, journey to Ali Pali started at Q School this year. Uh, you were you obviously had a successful uh, stint in the BDO. Going into Q School, what were your feelings? Did, did you expect to come through it or was it just, enjoy it and see what happens no i, I expected is it, the difference really we've expected I, I knew i was good enough and i knew i was going to yeah. be you know one of the challenges and one of the favorites to get a card because of my performances on the video the year before um a bit of an, a, a kick in the teeth was breaking my foot because i was i was winning <laughs> i was winning quite regular between august and, and september and october at the, the world cup then i broke my foot in, in romania and yeah. And I was actually playing quite well after I got playing in a boot. I was playing, I was, you know, I hit a 32 average in county in a, in a big moon boot. <laughs> so I was playing quite well. And over Christmas, I wore it. I had it off then on the 27th. And and although I, I played okay, I won a Piers Comp with Jim up, 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 up his neck of the woods. But 
it, it wasn't enough preparation for the O2. And although I played a solid, you know, 89 average, 87, 88 average, you know, in, in, yeah. the, in the O2, you know, it wasn't quite, you know, what I was playing, you know, in the six months. Yeah, before, yeah. So. So then I was like, you know, get a bit of practice in. I did stay the week with Wayne and watched him. So I was I was traveling three days after I come home. So I didn't really have much practice. And it probably showed really. It took me three days to stop. Yeah. Playing decent. I thought, oh, I'll back to the WDF or the BDO then on Saturday night. I sort of, oh, I wasn't anyone's friend. I was just like, I'm going to bed. I'm not talking to anyone. Yeah. I'm just getting, it's, it's eating me up a bit really because I wasn't playing how I should. I think I'd lost a part on the Saturday and my darts to come back into it. He, he grinded me down. I was just down in the dumps and I thought, you know, I'll just go for it now on Sunday. You know, go, and I did and I, everything clicked and showed, showed my ability and, Sort of proved myself as well that you can do it, especially the, the game against Jim. Jim's been, you know, best in Wales, you know, in terms of the BDO yeah, for a few yeah. years now. And he, he, he just lost in the world final and I've, I've beaten him and it was a hell of a game, 104 average, 102 yeah, average. Yeah. And the final game then was just immense. Even though, as oh, I yeah. said, talking about, think about Q School, I was 2 0 down in the Q School final match and reeled off five. You know, ridiculous. <laughs> thing. So I just thought you can do it. So if you think you can do it, you can do it. If you think you can't do it, then you're never gonna do it. So yeah. So uh, yeah, I expected to get through Q school, but going into the final day, I was thinking, you know, you're gonna need a little bit of luck. But I suppose the only luck I was was Jim missing. So I, mean, I think he missed three darts to go four all. That was the closest I come to losing, to be fair. Um, yeah. So, uh, no one had darts to beat me in the last day at Q school, but you know he had the darts in the last leg. So that's the closest yeah. bit, of, bit of luck I had, to be fair. But uh, yeah, I'm, I was chuffed. And and if we'd have knew what was going to happen in March, then with the lockdown and the COVID, then I think everyone else would have been, you know, everyone would have been under so much pressure because that's all we've exactly, had is yeah. the PDC. So I'm so grateful yeah. that I got through there. So you mentioned after the three days, you was the first three days he was a bit down. Is the pressure kind of kind of off then on the last day and? Is that why we've seen the best, well, your best darts? In a way, my manager's really good. So Paul, he, he's, you know, he just said, you know, try your best. And it was the same. We went somewhere, I think, well, it was a few years ago when I failed to qualify for the BDO. You know, whatever happens, you know, it's just darts. You, you might win, you might yeah. win. So, but it was a bit of extra pressure when I started winning games and playing well and thinking, you know, you can actually do this. So I seem to just yeah. perform better under pressure sometimes, which is, it's not a bad trait to have. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I relish the pressure sometimes. And and sometimes, you know, you've got four days to perform or, you know, yeah. if you accumulate points over four days, you'd rather just go in amongst it and, and have one shootout sort of thing. And that's what it yeah. was the Sunday. It was all or nothing. So, yeah. you know, it shows really, you know, it's a straight knockout for me. If I was in, I was in. If I, I win it, you know, get the last two of Keen Barry was the other one. Oh, Scott Waits, wasn't it? He beat Keen yeah, Barry. Yeah, Scott, then. yeah. So it was just like, yeah, all or nothing, you know, get it early, get it, you know, get yourself set up, prepared properly and just go for it. And that's what happened on the Sunday. So Yeah. It was after the first couple of games, you just let rip, really, didn't you? you uh, yeah, the first game, right? I think the guy is nicknamed Stone Cold. Wilson, his name wasn't it? Jason Wilson. Yeah, Jason Wilson. Yeah. And he, I beat him five nil, but I, I knew he was a good player, and he just didn't perform. He had, I think he had troubles, you know, letting a dark go or something, and, and I reeled him over. He only had eighty yard average, but it, it was solid yeah. on my part co compared to my previous games that week where I, I was hitting my doubles. Yeah. I, I threw a get away the first day, missing doubles, and then obviously I'm sat there thinking, oh, could have had a decent run. Played okay on the second day, third yeah. day on part, but yeah. So after that, I, was, I think was it Lee Lee Evans second game. Yeah, it was a five four. Was a, was it? That was a five four. Yeah, that, yeah. that was a close game. But I think I went out in thirteen, and, and I remember one of his mates that stood on the rail and said, "Oh, what a game that was!" Yeah. Uh, and and I see that. And sometimes you think, you know, a hard game. So Lee Evans second game. I think it was Jim, then Martin Atkins. Really off hard games. It could be better yeah. than playing somebody who you, you don't expect to play well because you yeah. it could drag you down, or you think you're over the line, you think you might have a couple extra darts, where sometimes you might not have, where someone's going to bang out a big finish out of the blue. Because they're all capable yeah. up there, but obviously, oh, consistency-wise, yeah. you know that against Jim and against Martin Atkin, there's no there's no let-up, really. You yeah. You've got to take your chances, and, and that's what I did, so. Yeah, and then in the, in the last game, then, you, I think it was 110 and a half average against uh, <laughs> Scott Taylor. Um, after that game, well, it must have been so pleasing to bring your best game in 
uh, best game in the well massive game for you to get your tour card. Um, once our last double goes in, then uh, you must have been over the moon. Yeah, it was just a big flush of emotion out. Like you know, that was it, life changing. We had a bit of a celebration, <laughs> celebration <laughs> that night there to be fair in Wigan. But, um, yeah, two 0 down. I was thinking, oh no, not again, Nick, because I've I've lost to Scott before. But um, in fairness, I, I, I my dad's printed off the sheet off Dark Connect. In fairness, as a, a <laughs> memorabilia thing, and it was, it was like 11, 12, 13, 11, something. It was really, really high standard, and it was just nothing. Yeah. I wasn't missing nothing. But yeah, to play the best game you've ever played and the biggest match you've ever played, you can't fault that really. And I'm quite proud of myself for that because it could have gone either way, and especially from two 0 down. Um, but yeah. You know, over that format, 110 average. I haven't, come, I haven't really come close to 110 in the PDC, so there's still a bit of work to be done. You know, and trying to to up, up, you know, the consistency of it. But yeah, I'm happy where I am at the moment, and just glad to be there. So I've got my chance now to sort of climb the the rankings with, with a good run at the Ali Pali and see how we go for next year. Yeah, and the f- uh, very first weekend you made an impact straight away on the Pro Tour. In your first event, you got to the last 16, you went down to Joe Cullen, and the second day you lost out to Peter Wright in the last 64. Uh, that must have given you a huge belief that you can do big things in the PDC. Yeah, to be fair, I just didn't show up against Joe Cullen. I, I didn't know what I put it down to, to be yeah. fair. I, just, I was chasing, I, he went up early and I was chasing him. Because I played really well against Kirk. Cook Shepherd, Josh Payne, and Meikle. Um, and and they you know, the Meikle's been really good the last couple of months, but um they're all established players, you know, pro yeah. tour winners, um, especially Josh. But um yeah, the day after then at Peter Wright I was on the stream and I went one up with a nice finish and, and this doubles you were there. I should have really been, you know, three two up, four three up at, at times. But it's just experience that I've built on throughout the year and um you know, it, it stand instead being good stead really for the future if I ever play them again. So, yeah, and uh, you re- reached another last sixteen. I think it was at Player Championship five. Um, you missed starts to beat Christopher Tyski in the last sixteen. Um, did that game knock your confidence? Because we didn't see your best form after that. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, it's, it's sort of did is if buts and maybes of what could have happened. Um, yeah, I can remember my brother was with me that weekend, and I beat Johnny Clayton in the second game after beating Matty Den, and, and I beat Conan. And then the game against Christoph was ridiculous. And I had broken him, I think it was, it was my dart, so I broke it in. And that was my dart's last leg, and I thought, biggest leg of your life now, come on. And I hit 180 off, and I missed, I had three, three darts of tops in my hand, and I hit five first darts. Yeah. Oh my god, I missed, oh, I had 32, and he went out then. But looking back at that, I had a 105 and yeah. I played solid throughout the match it was just a bit of a kick in the teeth that I didn't close it out and looking at he went on to win that tournament which was probably the one that knocked my confidence the best because yeah. you think well that could have been you to win that you know but, um, but yeah it, it did go downhill a little bit then and um, but you know it's, it's part and part, parcel of it you know it, the the Covid break kicked, kicked yeah. me you know picked me up a bit really I lost a bit of weight maybe I was a bit unfit you know going into you know, these long days and long weekends. So, you know, the, the COVID's done me good, pick, you know, getting fit, you know, feeling a lot better um, and sort of preparing myself a lot a lot better for, for these events now. So I'm in, I'm in a good place. We came after the COVID break. We obviously had the summer series. Uh, you didn't win a game in that. I know you was down on yourself. So uh, what does it say about you then to bounce back for the autumn series and obviously reach a semi-final in the, on the third day? I, well, it's just, to be fair, it's just a bit of it's down to my manager as well. He didn't have anyone with me in, in uh, Milton Keynes and, like, you know, you get into, like, habits of, you know, just doing nothing and sort of hanging about, you know, sort of, you know, just... You know when they got no one to talk to sometimes. You know, yeah, you, bother, yeah. you bother with the other players, and but they've all got a job to do themselves. So you know, you haven't got that person who's part of your team. Who, you know, can tell you what to do or guide you in the right direction. So it was just, it was just surreal, really, being locked locked in a hotel for a week. You know, I didn't, you know, hardly any fresh air. The only fresh air you had was the smoking area, 
you yeah. know, a little a little sort of tennis court sized terrace, really. That was about it. But yeah, to, to go to Germany then, and I was I had these the new darts came then for Germany, so yeah. I used new darts in Germany, and I I always you know people that know me would know I'm a bit skeptical about changing darts it's only the third set i've ever had in my life so yeah so but it's a it's a model of my old dart with a bit of welsh color to it um and a few initials and, and logos but yeah the, we had a qualifier against joe mernon and, and obviously it's getting used to the dart going in a little bit different yeah but yeah the third day i just i just reeled off all these these big fishes really with devon and james and simon yeah and I was gutted to lose to Michael, especially the way it happened. You know, if I got rolled over, it's a bit different, but I shouldn't really be born up, I keep saying. But, you know, and it, that's the motivation, really, knowing that it could, you can beat them. And the day after, I drew Gezi, funny enough. <laughs> but it's uh, early on again, should have probably been free to up, but he rolled me over once he got in front. So that's something yeah. I got to learn from and pick up from. It's sort of hanging in there when the games are going, you know, the other way. So, but yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm proud of myself the way I bounced back, and then toward I didn't didn't do too well the first couple of days of the one just gone the winter series, and then I was on the link on the stream twice and managed to perform really well on the stream twice. Yeah, so I, must, I must like the cameras. So. <laughs> and you must be chuffed as well because your mate Jamie Lewis he's had a rough year, and um, he obviously came through the qualifiers as well on Monday. So you must be over the moon with that as well. Yeah, I'm chuffed for him to be honest. I remember watching him in the semis. Uh, you know, his run yeah. in the semis three years ago now was ridiculously good. And and I know he's like on his top game. He's yeah. one of the best. His scoring is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy for him and you know all his family because he's such a lovely kid. Well, he's older than me as a kid, so <laughs> man, you know. But um, yeah, we had we had such a laugh on the way back, and, and I'm yeah. pleased for him to to get through. Um, yeah, and I hope I'm on the same session as him now. You know, to have, you know share his company and all that because he, he's good to be around and he's he's really nice and hopefully you know we can he can take the positives from this and, and move on and, and, and come back to his old self yeah and Welsh Darts is in a brilliant place at the minute and it? it must be so good being involved uh, you uh, you got players like Gezi, Johnny Creighton obviously Jamie yourself Barry Bates is still around you got John Worsley it's, it's brilliant isn't it Oh, it's epic to be honest, and, and the local tournaments say a lot about that. I've said that on, on another interview, but um, a lot of players come over from Swindon um, yeah. and, and the West Midlands. They come down and Worcester and all that to play in our comps, and the standard is is amazing. And there's there's players you don't even see on the tour, or you know, on the PDC or the BDO that are really really good players. You know, and like, for example, look look at John Williams Jones in in this, in yeah. this you know online darts. He is phenomenal. Louis Williams. He's like, like practice playing for playing for Wales with him. He's he's the same. Just bang one yeah. eight, one eight. I'm not, I can't keep up with him to be honest. Um, but yeah, you know, I think Mark Webster's going back to Q School as well, and and I've seen his results on the home tour. Yeah, uh, that'd be great on to the, see the Modus tour. So he, yeah, he's he's, he's going to be close. He's going to be up there to to regain the card. And uh, yeah, yeah, the, the standard of Welsh starts is is amazing. I'm practicing a lot with Sam Kankett and. You know, if he can show his true talents, then he's going to be, you know, a name to be to be recognised in the, in the future again. Right, I'm going to end on one question, Nick, and this one that I ask all my guests. I'm going to get your cogs moving in your brain on this one. Um, who was your top five players of all time, uh, from number five down to number one? Ooh, well, number one, I'm going to go to Phil Taylor, number one. Yeah. Uh, right, this is tough. I'm gonna go MBG number two. Yeah. Ah, oh, mate, this is solid. <laughs> I think if Bristol didn't get get his die, so I think they probably wouldn't have been as good as Phil Taylor. But, um. I go Bristow number three. Yeah. Barney number four. Yeah. Oh. Dear, oh dear, Luke. Uh. Think about one of your idols, Gary Anderson, he could be number five. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. 
all time. Yeah, natural talent. Yeah, Gary Anderson. Go on. Yeah. yeah, and you came up against him on the home tour, didn't you? Yeah, it was, I didn't play very well to be honest. I did it at one eighty first three darts, and then it just as it could only go one way, it went downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a natural talent and yeah. very very good. Yeah, um, I just want to say massive thank you for coming on, Nick, and I wish you all the best now in your debut with Ali Pali. Just go up there and enjoy it, and hopefully we'll see the best, best ga- your best game come out. Thanks, Luke. I'm hoping so as well. Yeah, appreciate you having me on. Uh, cheers, cheers for your, for your comments. Cheers, Nick. Cheers, mate. All the best. Bye, mate. Bye.